Born to be an artist, groomed to be the smartest Never been the hardest, but ain't no doubt about it Man, my fucking flow retarded 50 Tyson goes to hard for the art Fuck and a narcissist, I'll show you what an author is Who you know is hot as this, boy I spit flames like I'm I have a love-hate relationship with Chicago in general I've been on, I've been on both sides of the spectrum um, out, even outside of music, just in like in my like real life, like, I've seen the the city of Chicago streets kind of like take my mom under um, with like her addiction and stuff. But those type of things are what influence my music. So kind of without like the Chicago grittiness, I think I wouldn't I wouldn't have certain aspects in my music. Like I wouldn't have certain emotions and like certain things that. Um, that just make me who I am if it wasn't for like me being from this city. Got a whole lot of dreams in the three one two. Throw your dream in the sky and it might come true. Throw your dream in the sky and it might come true. It's awesome that um, there's so many doors that have opened um, and there's so many people who are involved in trying to create the industry here that and I'm I'm kinda like in this I'm in this whole like realm of the resurgence of Chicago and the Chicago Renaissance. I feel like a lot of people say that from New York, like, oh, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. But like, if you can if you can make it here in Chicago, you can literally make it. Anywhere. I've had homies who's passed due to like violence in Chicago. Um, you know, there's big drug issues that we have in Chicago. Um, even down to like our school systems. Like, there's still work that needs to be done in our school systems. Yeah, man, Chicago's rough, but if you can, if you can, if you can take all the negatives and turn them into a positive, like it definitely makes you a, a way better person. Like I feel like I'm ready for the world. I haven't been out of the I haven't been out of Chicago since I was probably like a sophomore and that's when I went to Atlanta so I'm 22 now <laughs> it's like damn I'm just now getting out again I'm all nervous and shit about flying <laughs> I'm packing for South by Southwest. Me and my friends are all going. We felt like it would probably be the best move for us. So we're just gonna put all our little bread together and hopefully make make something happen. Uh, my homie Wolf is coming down with me. Vaughn, my producer, uh, my best friend Joey's coming. Joey's kind of like my road manager, but he's really just my best friend. And uh, his family allowed me to like live here. When I got kicked out the crib. So he's always been like a big help. Definitely a little nervous though. I mean, you know, you like we put all our money into kind of a dream, you know. But I guess that's with anything. You just don't know what what can happen. Anything can happen. I hope people will listen and discover who Saint Millie is, and we get a step closer to you know living out our dream. Hope I got enough clothes. Oh. Can't wait to get on the plane and just leave. See those clouds in the air. Dollar in the dream, baby. Right in this bag. The dream would be I give my CD to somebody, they listen to it, and I get a call about the time I get back to Chicago. And they're like, yo, you the next. <laughs> You the next big star. <laughs> we just gonna be out there grinding, man. That's crazy. South by Southwest, here I come. Ah. They'll never understand. They'll never understand. What you know about having nightmares, man? It ain't no Peter Pan. Freddy Cougar in my dreams. Freddy Cougar in my dreams. I got a Well, working the surface quietly, making them nervous. I'm writing to find my purpose. But these bitches stay lurking. They killed my homie the other day while we glorify murkin. Blue dream like I'm smurfing. Ain't no doubt that I'm smoking just to relieve all my stress. That's why I'm fresh to my death. But can these clothes hit a pain? When I'm soaked in the rain, I brainstorm for better days. Flow cold Everglades, I'm copping by the pound, so I'm smoking the heavy haze. It's like I'm back up in this bitch with my backpack. I get a game my all, I only got half back. I'm in the studio like a fucking lab rat. I get my soul every verse, y'all shouldn't have that. 
Me and my girl separated, wasn't spending time. I get these beats a piece of me, I give you peace of mind. If you my homie, we succeed, I give you peace of mind. Not everybody true to that, that's how it be sometimes. Sometimes this shit's so stressful, I just wanna flee sometimes. What kind of real man leave his problems behind? Steady on my grind, no time for wasting time. Funny how tarnished souls always wanna shine. Hey. Never understand, understand and never understand. show coming up this Friday um, at the Hard Rock Cafe and it's the first I'm opening for Mike Terror, um, the cool kids and then t me and Taylor Bennett are on the bill um, so I'm super excited for this show I feel like all the shows that I've uh, I've had previous to this show um, it's kind of been like uh, you know great um, just great preparation for South by and this show this show is kind of like the biggest show that I'm doing before we go down to South by. I'm a, I'm a little nervous on a couple of things because um, it's the first time that I'm going to have my producer doing the voiceovers and stuff. Um, so that makes me a little nervous. I just hope it goes well. I need y'all to make some noise for my little brother, Trudy Cruz home, St. Millie! Yo, yo, yo. When I say Saint, y'all say Millie was Saint. Millie. Saint. Millie. When I say Saint, y'all say Millie nigga Saint. Millie. Saint. Millie. I was feeling disappointed with my DJ and, and really the overall performance at the Hard Rock show. It was such a big show to me and I wanted it to go so well. It really wasn't what I wanted it to be. I wish my DJ would have was ready um, for when it was time for me to come on. Yeah. There was kind of this like dead silence. <laughs> and that kind of offsets the energy for the show, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. you know, you practice to be polished and the show's supposed to kind of have like, you know, this incline, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed yeah, yeah, to just yeah, yeah. like escalate and uh, I don't know, that that moment of dead silence kind of, you know, it, it made it a little questionable. It, it, it didn't make it seem like we were professional, I felt like. But my friends are so supportive and even random people I didn't know were kind of mad supportive of me doing my thing. It was messed up clearly, but I think he like moved it so it wasn't even that bad and people really didn't notice because he did like a little acapella freestyle in the beginning. It's like I'm back up in this bitch with my backpack. I get a game all I only got half back. I'm in the studio like a fucking lab rat. I get my soul in reverse, y'all should have that. Me and my girl separated, wasn't spending time. I get these beats a piece of me, I give you peace of mind. He's a performer, so he knows what he's doing, you know, on the stage keep things going, no awkward moments, you know what I mean? For sure, this isn't the first or last mess up he'll have. I expect more from myself though. Even though my friends do support, and I do have people that have my back, everything is just so important for me to do the right way. Even if everything is not working, I still have to be able to entertain and work through it. Bring the zip to the bag like the stroke, hey, I smoke all of that. Having that experience with that, you know, that awful moment of silence, um, I'm glad that I was able to, to bounce back.
and I, I'll definitely be prepared for the future. I'm, I'm honored to be here still, you know what I'm saying? Hard Rock had a great, super dope audience, um, and the venue is really ill too, so. Oh man, Millie, man, that's that's my young bro, man. He really out here working hard, man. That's a good dude. So that's all there is to say. Millie is raw as fuck. Period. It, it's, Exclamation point. Three times. I think his aesthetic and his performance is very always up to par. Um, I think in the, in the near future, he's definitely someone to look out for. I, I just met Millie at Juggernaut, you know what I'm saying? And it was just a vibe of him, you know what I'm saying? When he told me that he was performing, I was like, I gotta come see you. When I got up to the stage, I was like, oh my God, I was blown. It, it, it was right. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It was right. It was right. Definitely. Came through to show motherfuckers love, man. My nigga Melly right here doing his thing as always. You get your ass over here, cause I ain't finna do this whole thing without you. Be you in the background and shit. Yo, this my brother since high school, nigga. So for motherfuckers to know, man, he been doing this thing for, since he started this shit, man. And motherfuckers gonna keep on going. So keep doing your shit, my nigga. And what he bring is originality, his own flow. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, that, that's Chicago right there. I love it. Millie! Hey, Millie! Hey, Cut life! I love it. Y'all see the celebrity thing? I see him just chilling, kicking it. Yeah. Always having fun. That's what he's about. You know, most thing I like about him, though, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he's, he's down to earth. He work. You know what I'm saying? Down to earth. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's not going to pass up uh, a regular human being. He's going to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be him. You know what I'm saying? I love that. I love that. Shout out to Millie, man. Hard work. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, it was a great way to end all the shows that we had up to this point. Um, we're five days away from South by. I'm really ready to fucking go. <laughs> um, I look forward to being in South by. I think it's going to uh, be another test um, for us, which um, I'm, I'm looking forward to taking it at the end of the day. What are you going to tell your DJ? Um, well, we going to talk. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, Iggy's been my DJ for a long time, uh, and he's my brother forever. Um, but you know, I, I think there's, you know, we both gotta, you know, what I'm saying, grow in different ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes if it happens that we grow apart, it's just you know, that's the way the cookie, the cookie crumbles. You know what I mean? Hands up, real niggas never change. Got tragic, go to jail just to just to the fame. Who prepared for the type of shit that money might bring? You up on that high horse that money might change? Blanker, blanker, homie in the ranger. Got cost.